Hey, wanted to do another video on fraction factorials in the gamma function, and we've got an unusual one here. We've got minus seven halves factorial. And this may be pretty strange if you're used to seeing factorial in terms of positive integers and zero. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the gamma function with this. The gamma function allows us to extend the factorial beyond the positive integers and zero, and it's gonna allow us to deal with something like this. So let's take a look at how that's gonna work. Okay, so we have our definition over here on the right, and it defines the gamma function in terms of an integral, okay? But we have this second equation, which allows us to relate the gamma function back to factorial. So putting that into use with something like minus seven halves, let's just notice if we look at gamma of minus five halves, subtracting one from this using this formula, we have minus seven halves factorial. So then for this, what we're going to try to find is we want to look for gamma of minus 5 halves. And let's put that in terms of this integral. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, so here's our integral that we could use in order to find our value for gamma of minus 5 halves. But what I want to do is something else instead. I think in many cases with the gamma function, it's easier to just find the value in terms of some other value that we previously found rather than doing an integral every time. Now in a previous video, and I'll give a link in the description, we found the value of minus 1 half factorial. And this was the same as gamma of one half. Okay, and this was square root of pi. So what I wanna do is use this value to get back and find the value we're looking for, this gamma of minus five halves or minus seven halves factorial. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna take our gamma of one half and we're gonna use this last formula here, just noticing if our input's a half, if you subtract one, then this is gonna be the same thing as minus one half times gamma of minus one half. But now we can do this repeatedly. So like, what is this? Well, gamma of minus one half using the exact same formula, we subtract a one from this, we have, this is the same thing as minus three halves times gamma of minus three halves. So then let's plug that back in here and see what we have. We're gonna have minus one half times this minus three halves times the gamma of minus three halves but we can just do the exact same thing again on gamma of minus three halves. And we have this thing's the same thing as minus five halves times gamma of minus five halves. Okay, so then plugging that back, we have minus, and this would get really boring if I did it more times, I think, but we're just gonna stop it there. Minus three halves, minus five halves, gamma minus, cutting it close there. So you see, we can use it repeatedly, just like factorial. Now let's simplify this a little bit. So if we multiply this thing out, we're just gonna have minus 15, two times, basically we have here two cubes, so this is gonna be eight times gamma of minus five halves. And notice this is our goal, this is what we wanna find, right? And like I said before, we already know what this whole thing's equal to, it's equal to square root of pi. So we have this set up just as an algebra problem where we can solve for what we want, we can try to find this. So what I'm gonna do is I wanna get rid of this minus 15 eighths. I'm just gonna multiply here by minus eight over 15 on both sides, okay? And then we notice this cancels and this cancels. So we have this isolated. So our solution for minus seven half factorial is gonna be this. It's just minus eight 15 square root of pi. You'll notice it's always the same pattern. Okay, you always have like two to, it's always two to some exponent here. So what happens is if you just work back to one known value, I choose this one, I choose working back to square root of pi, then you can get to this value really quick once you do it a few times. Anyway, that's it, we'll stop it there. I have a quiz, gamma function quiz that has a lot of problems like this. And I also, this is part of a playlist, so I'll provide a link to that playlist and the other videos and hope you check that out. Thanks, have a great day.